Hey, what is up, my fellow survivors? Welcome back to my channel, and today I'm gonna share to you my five tips on how to level up on last day on earth. So these tips are more for the beginners, so if you've been playing for a while, you might want to skip this video. But if still you want to see what's in the video, you are welcome. Just let me know if you've learned something new or not. You can also say, I didn't learn anything from your video. Your video sucks. You can also say that because I need criticism and I need that for, for improving my content. So with that being said, let's get on with my 5 tips on how to level up faster on last day on earth. So my first tip would be, if the healer is around your base, you might want to check if he is offering the brain weed seed because it would help you a lot as it gives you 100% extra experience when you collect resources or kill zombies. This is for free but you need to watch a full 30 seconds ad which would cost a small amount of your time which is insignificant for me at least because I would take this offer any day of the week. And by the way, the effect would last a good hour. So my second tip is, instead of going to the green zone to level up and to even farm for that matter, which I'm gonna be talking about in my next video for my 5 tips on how to farm resources efficiently, so go ahead and subscribe now so you won't miss that video. Go ahead, pause the video, I can wait. So welcome back to this video and if you notice, I did not go to the yellow zone, instead I went for the green zone and you guys might say, oh he contradicts his tip. But I mean, this is just a tutorial, so yeah. So my next tip is, the next time you farm, I want you to loot everything even if you don't want or need those resources. Because by doing that, you'll gain a lot more experiences. Then you can just delete those resources that you don't need. For me, the best way to level up is by farming. And that is why I want you to go to the yellow zone instead of the green zone because the yellow zone has a lot more to offer in terms of resources and zombies. Which brings me to my next tip and that is kill all the zombies when farming because killing zombies would give you much more experience than chopping woods and breaking limestones. And also your farming life would be much much easier without the zombies because you can click the auto button and just let your character grind. So for my last tip is to grind 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 and grind for more because there are no shortcuts in this game. Unless you are cheating, which I don't recommend because cheaters are fucking assholes. So if you are a cheater, fuck you. Just kidding. Not really. But I also appreciate you being here. It's because the cheaters badly affect the gaming experience of other players and that sucks really bad. Just don't do it with the expense of others. You can cheat on single player games like GTA because we've all done it, right? I mean, who didn't? You can put mods on Skyrim if you consider that cheating. So the takeaway here is never cheat on a multiplayer game because that would really suck. And sometimes you'll even take the satisfaction of others. So stop cheating because you'll only lose interest in the game when you cheat. And that my friend would only take away your enjoyment. So that's it for today's video. If you've learned something, let me know in the comment section down below. If you didn't, it's cool. Just let me know what you guys want to see next. And subscribe if you haven't yet so that you won't miss any of my videos. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.